Right now we're actually walking across Kathmandu to Swayambu. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that, Swayambu Marg. It's a Tibetan Buddhist temple. And we didn't actually make it to this one last time we were in Nepal. So this is one that we're looking to do for the first time. We're gonna try to hit some other stuff that we did hit last time again. Just get better documentation of it. Obviously I wasn't making videos back in 2014. Not sure if that's an anti-religious statement or an anti-government statement, but uh, either way, I agree with it. Be true to yourself. We all have a conscience, right? Just tap into that. People refer to it as God conscience or higher conscience. Tap into that. Hi! Quite a contrast in this back, this little back street here. Away from all that craziness. Crossing some of those main roads, man. I'm telling you, you are taking your life in your hands. You gotta just, it's kind of like driving in New York City. If you've ever driven a car in New York City, you don't look before you change lanes. You just gotta change lanes. You just gotta go. And it's a lot like walking in Nepal. And the same for India too. But it's definitely easier here than in India. The good thing about the cheap cost of transportation is that you don't have to worry about renting a motorbike or a car, which I would probably never do if I could avoid it. But like, you know, like in Thailand and Malaysia and Indonesia, if you're outside of the big cities, not too bad to rent a, a motorbike, but still pretty chaotic. I mean, if you are outside of the big cities, definitely it's doable. I mean, it's a popular thing now to, to drive all around India and Nepal on motorbikes, so if you're, as long as you're outside the big cities, not a, not a huge deal, not totally dangerous, but you see what you're dealing with inside the cities here. So we found this cool little uh, vegetarian restaurant there, Basuri Veg Restaurant, and stopped off Got a little meal, late lunch, possibly an early dinner. 730 rupees for uh, vegetable curry with rice and some uh, veggie tempura. Oh, and also I got a tea, a lemongrass tea. So $7 less, a little bit less than $7.30 for an awesome meal. So like the place we had dinner last night and then this place, more tourist oriented so you can definitely find something cheaper but that was cheaper than last night because last night was in Tamil the central backpacking district now we're on the outskirts of Kathmandu a little bit touristy because it's on the way to this temple here but still good deal So you can see the monkeys, the holy monkeys of the temple here. And these monkeys are holy because they are said to be descended from the uh, hair of Manjushri. He was a bodhisattva that raised this stupa, or raised the hill that the stupa's on, and he grew his hair long and it got lice in it. And the monkeys are said to have sprung from the lice of Manjushri. And therefore, you have the holy monkeys all over the, the temple here. Just an interesting bit of mythology regarding the origin of the monkeys as they relate to the temple.
So this temple is the most holy pilgrimage site for Nawari Buddhists. It's a very sacred place to come and meditate. Obviously the sacred monkeys descended from the lice like we talked about. You can see the eyes of Buddha at the top of the stupa there and the whole stupa <laughs> the whole stupa symbolizes Buddha from the top his connection to enlightenment the eyes and then the body is a, a reminder of mindfulness and to be present and uh, this guy what's up man how you doing no. the movie star Namaskar Rambrasa. Rambrasa. Rambrasa? Ah, Rambrasa. Ah, you're like uh, action movie? Rambo. You. This guy. This guy is the next Nepali action star right here. Right? Let me see your Kung Fu. Kung Fu? You know Kung Fu? You know? He doesn't want to test his Kung Fu on me. It's too strong. Right? Very strong Kung Fu. Nice to meet you, buddy. Namaste. No. Bondu. 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 Yes. Bondu. Very good, see? We met the um, Nepali Bruce Lee here, uh, right? Uh, and uh, uh, it's a very beautiful temple, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, very. Uh, nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't your body. Thank you. Spin these prayer wheels clockwise as you go around the stupa. Spin them clockwise, and this is a, a way of meditating, connecting with your Buddha consciousness. Spin them clockwise all around. It's a very sacred place. Totally worth it, full of amazing historical sites and, and artifacts and stupas and shrines, places to meditate, tons of monkeys, holy monkeys, and, uh, and of course Nepali Bruce Lee. Infamous.